a website that allows users to store photos, documents, uh, videos, life events on a timeline that's very easy to navigate and to browse and find exactly what you're looking for. So Mazir is based on the assumption that the easiest way to find information is to organize it chronologically relative to other events in your life and in the world. So on our timeline you can drag and drop photos, documents, uh, whatever you want and they will automatically be placed uh, at the appropriate time. Um, if you've ever wanted to find photos from a previous vacation, figure out what you did last summer or even find you know, old papers from, from junior high or whatever, our timeline is, is an excellent way uh, to store and find that information. I created the very first incarnation of Mazira back in high school in 2007. It was just a tool that I used to keep track of daily events, things that happened to me that I realized I was forgetting way too soon. This idea that Mazira might be useful to other people and that there might actually be a viable business there, that didn't really come to me until 2010. Since then, I found a few other people that are interested in helping out and we've been working really hard. We have a, a beta that's nearing completion. We have a planned public launch of that at the end of the year. Uh, I joined the Mazir development team this past spring. I joined this team because I was excited about the opportunity to be part of a fast-paced startup with a revolutionary idea. And when I first saw Mazira, even in the incomplete stages, I could definitely see the potential of it. And being a computer engineer, I was intrigued by the technical challenges, and I wanted to get my hands dirty as fast as I could on this technology. Um, so when Ross first approached me with his idea and vision for Mazira, I was very excited. It seemed like it had some great potential and it seemed very current and cutting edge and it seemed to address a need that didn't quite seem to be fulfilled right now in the market. And so I was, I was just really ready to jump on board. Um, but you know, despite this potential, I could also see right away that we had um, a lot of work to do in the branding and user interface design arena. So. When I started, there was a basic prototype of the front-end interface and the back-end server, but the software was buggy and lacked many necessary features. Because of this, we spent the beginning of the semester creating a very detailed digital mock-up and wireframe for the interface user flow. Initially, we used PowerPoint, but we decided this was very cumbersome to use, so we started looking for alternatives. The alternative solution we found was Go Mockingbird. This is the same software that several top-end websites use to design their user flow. Mockingbird is a very intuitive and easy to use program and it allows us to rapidly prototype new interface ideas. Once we were done with the wireframes, we were able to finally move on to the uh, design of the site. So while the engineers and developers went and worked on the back end and making it all functional, I went and started to make some designs in Photoshop that fleshed out our ideas and develop them into a more aesthetically pleasing overall design. So we are currently working on taking the wireframes that have been created and the designs that I've fleshed out and flowing those into the actual site. Yeah. It became very clear that our timeline is very useful for displaying any sort of time-related information, not just personal events. Therefore, we're looking to, in the next couple months, expand our business to include uh, solutions for corporations if they wish to display internal data and other uh, information on a timeline for internal, internal or external purposes uh, we want to provide them a solution that they can use um, you know pay a license and, and use our software until recently Mazira was a tool meant for the individual we're now taking it to the next level Mazira is now going to be offered as an enterprise level tool we're in partnership with a company called Fact Entry which provides bond data to the financial markets Financial bond data is time dependent and hence is a perfect use for the Mozira backend. Or we plan to integrate the Mozira software into the databases which will make bond viewing and searching a lot easier.